でもやるんだこの剣はただの剣じゃない私にとっての魔法だ It's been an incredible year for anime so far, with epic battles, jaw-dropping animations, and unforgettable moments that have kept us on the edge of our seats. In this video, we'll be counting down the most thrilling and impactful fights that have graced our screens in the first few months of the year. Before unveiling the top anime fights of 2023, I want to bring your attention to the top mobile game of 2023, Raid Shadow Legends, where you take the action into your own hands with one of 700 plus unique champions. Since it's the fourth year anniversary, there are a ton of amazing gifts for you via the link in the description below, but more on that later. First, let's imagine a dinner to celebrate, and since we're all anime fans, what better way to do it than with some of my favorite Japanese champions? First, we have a Reaper, Noble, show some fear and he'll eat you instead. Karato, the last samurai, mess with his meal and he will battle your jutsu through any defense. Hefrak, the demon Omnioji, protects not only his but his pal's meals too with his passive skill. And finally, our Kitsune, Yumiko, she's going to have a lot of fun stealing food from everyone. Make your own team, especially now. It's a great time with a ton of dedicated offers to celebrate the fourth year anniversary. This includes free gifts, promo codes, events, and even a brand new fusion event with a special anniversary champion. There are even recap videos for your stats in Raid. And for those Amazon Prime members that got Genbo, keep an eye out for the next drop with some powerful savage gear. It's available until March 30th. Don't forget to use promo code 4YEARSRAID to get 4 times skill tomes legendary, 4 times energy. Energy refills 400 times energy and 400,000 silver. To kickstart things, new players, use this link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack with this cool in game loot. Get it now while it lasts. You once saw a dragon capturing a maiden, but this time the princess fights back. The journey of a young princess reincarnated into a magical world and her newfound powers to bring out a revolution. Upon receiving a notice from the Adventurers Guild of the dragon's appearance, Annis and Euphelia went out to claim the creature's body for research. Claiming it, however, becomes the tricky part. Unlike other Isekai protagonists, RMC takes drugs, takes on a stampede, and goes face to face with a dragon mid-air in an amazing animation sequence, the breathtaking details and the music perfectly complementing the intensity of the battle. Adding to the overall excitement and thrill of the scene, seeing a small princess use Excalibur to conquer a dragon was a true delight. What a roller coaster of a fight where the impossible is made possible. Trigon Stampede is a reboot but with its own take on stories and characters. It revolves around a misunderstood outlaw named Bash the Stampede, condemned by the atrocities committed by his twin brother, now hunted by bounty hunters that bring chaos wherever he goes. Very few animes succeed with 3D animation, but this is certainly one of them, managing to capture the exaggerated emotions and movements of a 2D style. Vash's movements were equally smooth as the animation, dodging multiple shots point blank before taking care of his enemy. The highlight was certainly the final shot. All it takes is one bullet for Vash to save the entire vicinity from destruction. The second season of Bofori is filled with amazing fights, but this scene where Kazumi tames Orochimaru is seemingly the best fit for this list. After taking out several zombies, Kazumi is now attempting to tame a humongous white snake. The snake is no pushover either as you would expect. It took multiple attempts and a few combined moves like speed acceleration and lonely moon to finally be able to tame the snake and named it Haku. The animation in this scene is commendable. They animated Haku to be as frightening as possible, like a guardian in its cave, and Katsumi's fluid movements bring the fight to life. Card has some similarities to the movie Kingsman, a poor protagonist recruited by the Secret Service, but with these special cards that can give you superhuman abilities, people possessing these kinds of cards are, for sure, a menace in a fight. 
Wendy is one such character that goes all hourglass when she draws her weapon, explains why her father got rid of it. The personality change makes this scene even more amazing, especially when the savior is more terrifying than the knife holder. The ensuing battle was as ruthless as you would expect from a psychotic personality that just appeared. Merry Christmas. The Black Dragon arc of Tokyo Revengers really made viewers sit on the edge of their seats as Mitsuya and the others gamble their chances of survival from Taiju's grasp, Mikey arrives to grace them with his saving light. This was the shortest fight in the entire video and yet was the most epic moment showcasing just how powerful Mikey is. An entire arc was spent building up the image of how strong Taiju was for Mikey to end it all with a single kick. So fast and intense, no one saw how Taiju was put to sleep. This goes to prove that you don't need flashy lights or an over-the-top power-up. Two frames of action is more than enough when it comes to our 15-year-old gang leader. Momoshiki completely humiliated Code and Kawaki Vegito style with his hands crossed. Chakra limitations isn't a thing either, he simply executes consecutive giant Rasengans. However, the highlight was Awaken Kawashiki vs Boruto Shiki. The Naruto franchise has always excelled at hand-to-hand -hand combat and although it was lost for a long time, it's fantastic to see it back in action, especially the homage to Naruto and Sasuke's finale. Despite the ridicule the studio receives for its animation quality, they outdid themselves in this battle, particularly the final clash. The sacrificial revolve of Boruto at such a young age was equally impressive and the animators made sure to portray the extent of damage he takes by animating even his spine getting obliterated. Although, it was still sad to see our childhood hero, Sage Mode Naruto, reduced to just a spectator that needs protecting. Naruto! Monsters vs Dinosaurs, now here come the stars. A battle between the top two of each pirate crew to determine if they are worthy to be part of the future Pirate King's crew. Zoro's entry was already epic, but the team up between Zoro and Sanji was a rare sight that put both fan bases at peace for a change. The perfectly aligned attacks makes you forget these two are always arguing and yet reminds us the years of trust built between the two. It's easy to forget but crucial to remember just how powerful King and Queen are. They are beings that were able to inflict damage to Big Mum, an emperor, and yet Zoro and Sanji are holding their own pretty well. The dizzling display of skill, speed, and determination of the overpowered characters fighting against each other makes this one stand out among the hundreds of battles in One Piece. This fight does not just display Midoriya's mastery of several new quirks, but also his growth as a character. A teenager who once cried easily has grown to become the combination of Spider-Man and Batman of this universe, saving every life he can while swinging around town. Despite his growth, Vigilante Deku is being cornered by the highly anticipated Rai Fu, who has extraordinary skills at sniping coupled with her newly gifted quirk, she has no weakness. However, current state Midoriya is able to unlock a new quirk and combine them with ease. Even enemies from the infamous Tartarus prison cannot hold down this badass new Midoriya. Nevertheless, his essence as a true hero will never change. He will save anyone in need of help without a second thought. And ironically, it was his hero heart that sealed him the true victory. And of course, our very first British smash. Manchester <laughs> A classic family feud, a normal day in any One Piece family. Yamato is trying to break free from the chains that Kaido has set, and Kaido trying to keep Yamato imprisoned and stuck in Wano forever. The animation didn't simply beautify the fight, but amplified our perception of the characters and the depth of the fight, such as representing Kaido as neither man nor dragon, but a raw force of nature. <laughs> 
then slipping in a glimpse of Kid Yamato portraying decades worth of built up emotions and yet they clash with the same technique. The epicness of this battle is elevated yet again by the entry of Snake Man Luffy and the combined one shot that sent Kaido flying. Bear in mind, this is not the final battle. Every leader of the scouts had an epic death, and Hanji is no different. Continuing Attack on Titan's streak of beautifying death, pain, sorrow, and tragedy, this marks the very first real victory against the Rumbling. Her task was to delay the Rumbling for the flying ship, and she certainly succeeded by taking down not one, but several colossal titans at the cost of her own life. Despite the sadness, there was a sense of satisfaction in her death after years of guiding the Scouting Legion, a duty abruptly entrusted to her which never truly resonated with her. Hanji has at last been granted a respite, a commander of the Scouting Legion, a diplomat liaising with nations and a leader of a band of outcasts, yet first and foremost, a scientist. In her final moments, she achieved the dual feat of accomplishing her purpose whilst confronting the being she held dearest. Despite Eren's extensive speech on liberty, in that very moment, Hanji was the epitome of unbound freedom. If you have any favorite fights that we missed, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe for the next volume of Top 10 Fights of 2023.